Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to remove junk files from your iPhone. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. Now, if your iPhone is running out of storage or it's running fairly slowly, we can remove all sorts of junk files from your iPhone to help it overall run better and have more storage for those files that you actually want. I'll walk you through a bunch of different steps to clean up space on your iPhone and remove all those files. The very first thing I recommend doing is to heading into our Photos app here. Now, in our Photos app, it keeps and stores a bunch of unnecessary photo files, photos, and videos. At the very bottom, you can see Library, For You, and Albums, and we'll want to tap on Albums. Scroll down until we find Recently Deleted at the very bottom here. And you can see all of those videos and photos that I've recently deleted, they're still taking up space on my iPhone itself. And at the very top right, I can hit select, and then I can hit delete all at the very bottom left here. And I can delete all of these 189 items. It says this action cannot be undone. So make sure that you actually want to delete all of these. So I'll hit delete all of these, and this will free up a bunch of space on my iPhone. So delete all of those recently deleted photos. Another thing that you can do is let's get out of here and let's open up our settings. Now, when let's go back out of here. When we're in settings, there are a few different things that we can do to clear up some space. We'll scroll down until we find messages here. And then we'll scroll down again and you can see message history, keep messages for one year. So we'll tap on that and potentially this is set for forever, which means it's keeping all those text messages that you've ever sent on your iPhone. Keep in mind that while text messages don't take up a lot of space, if you send videos or receive videos or photos, those do take up a lot of space. So I would recommend switching it to one year or 30 days, and that will remove anything older than one year or 30 days that you might not need anymore or go back to, but it'll clear up a bunch of space on your phone. Now, another thing, let's go back, is to tap on Safari. Two more down for messages, Safari, and we'll scroll down until we get to clear history and website data, we can tap on that and hit clear history and website data. This will clear up a bunch of cache history, any downloads from um, Safari itself within Safari, and it'll clean up a bunch of extra unneeded junk files. So once we go through those two steps, we'll scroll back up and we'll go to general and then we will go to iPhone storage. And you can see this is a breakdown of all of the different data that various apps are using on my iPhone. You can see, of course, photos, messages, mail, those are all taking up a bunch of space. However, if I scroll down, one of the tricks that I use is if there's an app that I haven't used in the last one year, so 12 months, then I usually just delete it from my iPhone. And if I need it again at any point, I'll just re-download it. So you can see last use right next to all of these apps. And if I start scrolling down towards the bottom here, if I find any ones that I haven't used in over a year, let's see this music right here, this music, I can tap on that and I can tap delete app at the bottom here and I will delete this app. Now I can go through and any of these ones that I haven't used in over a year, I can delete those. Those will help clear up a, a bunch of space depending on how much space that app is taking up on your phone. So you can go through here and delete any of these apps or offload the apps if you want to and that'll free up a bunch of space. The next step that I recommend doing is let's head out of here and let's open up our app store. And then we will just search for a cleaner here and hit search. 
It doesn't really matter which cleaner you go for. I can just choose this very top cleaner right here. And I will enter in my password. And then hit sign in so that I'll be able to download and install this cleaner. So now that it is installing the cleaner app, let's find out where it's installing it. Nice. I don't see it anywhere. Where is that downloading? Cleaner app. Let's, here it is. It looks like it's in the app library. So let's open up the smart cleaner app and then we can hit next, next, next. And then you can do a free trial if you want to. And it says after three days, it will start charging you. I can double click here, but this is kind of nice if you just want to initially clean out your iPhone. But after that, after that, you can just delete it and not be charged anything. So I've allowed it to everything. I can hit done here and then allow access to all phones. Okay. 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 And it will go me, walk me through these steps to clean my smartphone. So I can hit this little broom icon and it will go through and clear out a bunch of things that I might not need on my iPhone anymore. So contacts, calendars, screenshots, similar photos, go through these steps and clear out any kind of data that you might not want. And after you're done with the app, you can always delete it after you've used it and cleaned out your iPhone if you don't wanna pay for it after that. Hope this helps. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments below and make sure to subscribe. Thanks.